Hi guys, good morning. Yeah, and that will have an impact on businesses, especially along this stretch of Park Boulevard. And a lot of those business owners are out here this morning with signs. They are not happy about the fact that the city of San Diego is moving forward with installing these protected bike lanes along this one mile stretch of Park Boulevard right here in the heart of University Heights. It's an issue that we have been following now for a while on KUSI. Uh, last month, back in May, we told you about a virtual meeting uh, and how that went down where, you know, very few of the business owners had input into the design of this. And so here we have a number of those business owners here telling me it's not that they're against bike lanes. They are against this particular design that will negatively impact Park Boulevard. And I can go over here and talk to a, a couple who's we've been ch chatting away. Uh, th good morning. Tell me, tell me how you're feeling about what's happening. Really frustrated. We pay a lot of rent in our business to be on this street. We serve our community and our customers can no longer park as of this week. So we're very frustrated. There are parallel bike lanes already to Park Boulevard over on Cleveland, over on Florida. There's plenty of access for bicycles to drive safely away from the buses, uh, but this is not okay with us. We're losing, we went from eight parking spots and a loading zone to one handicapped spot for our business. That's it. And the loading zone is particularly important for so many of the businesses, not just yours. This is your your husband here. You guys own, uh, what's the business? Studio Stratton at 4421 Park. Okay. And then we also have another business like Borelli's, Borelli's Design. Yeah. You too are impacted by this. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the, the exact same thing that Marcy was saying. Um, we're losing parking. We're losing our loading zone. We're losing the middle lane that our uh, trucks pull up to drop off goods to our businesses. And um, it's it's just really going to affect uh, how we operate and, and how we do business. Uh, how do you worried. feel in general about bikers or bike lanes? Uh, I don't I don't have a problem with bikers. I mean, you see a biker right there and there's never been an issue on the street. The traffic drives really slow. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I know that there's biker safety issues on some of these other roads in this area, but it's not this road. This is the business district. This is a University Heights business district. This area right here, this street is supposed to be tailored towards businesses, not bikers. And um, we just feel like our voice is, is not heard and not important to this um, city right now. Thank you for sharing. Evan, right? Ben Evans. Ben. Oh, Ben Evans. Okay, owner of Borelli Designs. And and the, the latter part of what Ben said, we covered last month, and even the city acknowledged that from the beginning, uh, they did not include the community input or at least the business owners and they apologized for that was which was the other issue that's at hand and and you know trying to be more straightforward with what the plans are so the concern here this morning is what the sign read me read me what the sign says sir no parking equals no business equals no money equals no fun so this is a big blow to the neighborhood. We have a lot of pedestrian traffic. We have a lot of people come into this area in order to eat and to shop. And with no parking, it just really hurts us. And so this is what we're, what's happening here along Park Boulevard uh, for a one-mile stretch. The city is moving forward. In fact, today is the day where they were or they are supposed to start putting up those uh, protected bike barriers for, or the, the barriers for, to protect the bikers. We're monitoring the situation, guys, and have more coverage for you coming up in the next hour.